Well, there are many reasons to grow a beard. To keep warm in winter, mm -hmm. to look like a hipster, and to appear more manly. <laughs> but there's an even better reason to stop shaving. It's officially beard season yes. on this 1st of June, a campaign encouraging men to grow beards and get their skin checked for melanoma. The founder, Jimmy Nichols, joins us now along with stage three melanoma survivor, Jay Allen, along with, from left to right, Ash, Ben and Tim. Basically some men with amazing beards yeah. as well. <laughs> amazing looking men. <laughs> Good morning to all of you. Um, Jimmy, if I can start with you, where did this whole idea come from? Well, um, one of our best mates, Wes Bonnie, passed away from melanoma five years ago um, at the age of 26. And uh, we just decided to start something so we'd encourage people to get skin checks, um, which is a huge part of the puzzle for beating melanoma. Do you remember what it was like um, when he first told you, uh, when your mate told you that he had this? Yeah, like, it was, it was pretty hectic. And the last few months, it was pretty terrible for him and his family. And mm. it just hit us like a, I don't know. Steam train. St yeah. yeah, a ton of bricks. So yeah. It's a really tough cancer, this one. Yeah, well, um, Jay's been... Jay would know all about through. it. <laughs> Tell us about where you're up to, Jay, and, and how you first found out. Yeah, so I had a mole on my left ankle uh, that was kept changing colour uh, for the last six months of 2007, and, and my wife kept saying, go and get it checked, go and get it checked, and I was a truck driver working long hours. I had no idea. I thought it may be a blister from my work boots, so I finally listened to what my wife said, went to the GP and got it checked, and it turns out it was a melanoma, 1.95 millimetres deep. Mm. Cleaned up... Um, getting referred to the Melanoma Institute Australia and, and, the, and the melanoma had actually spread to, to one lymph node in my groin. I was then diagnosed stage 3 melanoma, had all my lymph nodes taken out, left me with 44 staples from my stomach down halfway down my thigh. The good, the good news is uh, I'm seven years melanoma free, but you've got to go for scans and blood tests every three months for the first five years, and now I go every 12 months. But um, I, I guess, you know, you listen to your wife if she's going to tell you to Yeah, get, partners get are checked. amazing <laughs> when yeah. it comes to knowing your body. It's a powerful message. Yep, they are. It's a powerful message of the beards. What was the idea and the inspiration behind the beards? Well, um, this was five years ago. Yeah. And we are in at, at Wes's Wake and there were these old farmers in the corner of the bar that had amazing wizard farmer beards. <laughs> and we were like, why, why, don't, why don't blokes our age do this, you know? Um, and we thought, you know, it covers up from the sun a little bit and it'll start conversation and that'll be, give us an opening to talk about mm. where's and challenge the person we're talking to to get a skin check. So we're like, let's, let's do it. And every winter since then, our group of mates have been growing beards and getting their skin checked and then using their beards to challenge as many people as they can. And I just, the idiot that kept growing mine. <laughs> and, yeah, and, hardly the is, idiot. <laughs> and the thing is, I mean, we tend to think of melanoma as something that will only develop where the skin hits. But in your case, Jay, in your work boot and you're a truck driver, so there'd be no sun going there. Yeah, but the, people need to realise you can get melanoma anywhere on your body. You know, yeah. Bob Marley actually passed away from your melanoma. Mm. Um, on your toe, mm. fingernails, you know, on the scalp of your, your, your head, you know, anywhere. So I guess it's good to go and get a skin check every 12 months. And, and certainly live a sun smart lifestyle. Not stay out of the sun altogether, but just live a sun smart lifestyle. Yeah, so that means slip, slop, slap, wear a hat. Yeah, hat, what, long sleeve shirts, sleep yeah. shade at all. And in terms of this campaign, what are you encouraging fellas to do? Well, this is the first day of winter, yeah. and um, we're inviting uh, gentlemen out there to, uh, if you would like to, become a beard season ambassador. Grow your beard from this day until the end of winter. Keep going if you like. You're embarking on your beard season, and use your beard to challenge as many people as you can to book a skin check. Your Good workmates, call. your footy team, your friends and family, mm. and make sure you get it done. Winter's the perfect time to get a check. And um, we've got these magnificent examples Aren't here. are they magnificent? Behind <laughs> me. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's a beautiful stage, and um, I invite everyone to grow a beard. Can women do it too? So women, yeah. women, are, women yeah. are quite key to this campaign. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lisa's well, got an auntie or great auntie. Great, great, great grandma Esther was yeah. well known. <laughs> well she had known. the full wizard. She was the whole full box and dice beard. That's beautiful. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful thing. She was ahead of her time. Great yeah. grandma. Hell yeah. <laughs> and uh, the truth is, guys with beards are hot. I mean, yeah. I'm married to a guy well. with a beard, so I might be a little bit biased, but you know, exhibit A, B, C, and D right there. <laughs> I think Jimmy Niggles is slightly hotter than your husband. I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Niggles. <laughs>
<laughs> Without a doubt, the best name in the business. It is great. This, this guy is an absolute legend. He, he is. A this legend. campaign. Yeah. Yeah. If you can get every bloke to get out there and get a skin check and grow a beard. Cole, can you grow a beard for us? <laughs> Come on, mate. Yeah, You've got to get I'd on board. probably have to take certain injections to, <laughs> to, to, to big up the hormones. I'd, I'd love to do that. I'd I tell you what, that. I'll grow a beard. Yeah. Because it's in my jeans. Yeah. Yeah. It's in your jeans? Yeah. What? <laughs> See that Instagram at Big Season. Yeah, that's where you'll see it first. Yes, Jimmy, yeah. I. I We're well, six to keep on top of that. Now, Sylvia's like, just completely <laughs> collapsed out <laughs> <down> the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway. It is a great Instagram account because I follow <laughs> Jimmy and it's really good and it's a great way to spread the word. Well, you've had. Yeah, no, no, it's all good. <laughs> We're going to move on. I have had a melanoma cut out, so yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, very yeah. in tune with your cause. We are, mate. Thank mm. you very much. Sorry for that, for that, for that getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> out of hand. Yeah. Yeah.